This week in Star Wars, BB-8 and BB-90 roll their way into Battlefront 2, and we learn all the secrets of Resistance flyboy Poe Dameron's past. Hey there, Kristen Baver here to give you the latest and greatest in Star Wars news. Let's dive in. Two new characters have rolled their way into Star Wars Battlefront 2, BB-8 and BB-90. That's right, we used the pun. We're not better than that. Now you can play as either the Resistance or First Order Ball Droid. Thumbs up and Angry Beeps included. Aw, happy Beeps, buddy. Check out Battlefront2.com for more information. Everyone's favorite hotshot Resistance pilot is getting a brand new novel. Author Alex Segura will take us on a journey through Poe Dameron's past as the son of a rebellion pilot leaves home to find adventure and figure out what kind of a man he's meant to be. The novel's set to hit store shelves August 4th. We would also like to send a big round of applause and all the Air Fives to our friends at Industrial Light and Magic. Our favorite visual effects wizards were recognized with six, count them six, VES awards recently for The Irishman and several Star Wars projects. The Mandalorian took top honors for outstanding visual effects in creating The Mandalorian's gleaming ship, the Razorcrest. And my favorite adopted space baby, the child. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker took home the prize for amazing simulation work in the epic duel sequence. Plus, the great minds at Walt Disney Imagineering were honored for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. And in even more good news, a hearty congratulations to Lucasfilm's fearless leader, Kathleen Kennedy, who was presented with the prestigious Fellowship Award at the 2020 BAFTA Awards by His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge, and Star Wars stars Daisy Ridley and John Boyega. The award is the highest achievement given out by the British Academy Film Awards, and the rare honor recognizes Kathy's legendary work on over 70 feature films over the years. During the ceremony, Kennedy was given a standing ovation from the crowd, toasted by none other than Steven Spielberg, and thanked her longtime mentors and collaborators, including George Lucas. Congratulations, Kathy. You think the good news stops there? You'd be wrong. Our friends over at ILMX Lab recently heard that their VR series, Vader Immortal, has been nominated for Best VR AR Game and is a finalist for Audience Award in this year's Game Developers Choice Awards. But they need your help. Head to ILMX Labs Twitter now and find out how you can vote for Vader Immortal. You're their only hope. This week in Star Wars history, back in 1999, Vanity Fair and Annie Leibovitz took fans on a journey behind the scenes of Star Wars The Phantom Menace with a glossy 15-page portfolio. New faces from the film like Qui-Gon Jinn, Padme Amidala, young Obi-Wan Kenobi, and our favorite here, Jar Jar Binks, adorned the cover of the February issue that year. And when the magazine hit newsstands, it started what has become something of a tradition that continued right on through last year's big spread on Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. That's it for today, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, Galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.